Knicks aren't yeah, getting I out just, of the first round. Like, let's really presume right. health for a second, right? We sure. assume health presume for health. these teams, presume. right? Like, of the major players. Here's mm-hmm. the problem. If you, by first round, you mean they can win a play-in game, I would say maybe, maybe they'll win a play-in game if they're there. Maybe they lose a play-in tournament. They don't make the playoffs. But let's say they are in the playoffs. They're going to win a first round series because that, they're going to be a lower four-seeded team, not an upper four-seeded team, which means they're going to have to play one of the following teams. The Brooklyn Nets or the Knicks going to beat the Nets? And when I ask that question, I mean, are they going to win a single game from the Nets? The answer is no. Um, Are they going to beat the defending champion Milwaukee Bucks? No, they won't. Are they going to beat the 76ers? Well, that depends what they get for Ben Simmons. Yeah, Daryl Morey is going to get fleeced, right? No. They're going to put a team around Embiid. They will not be better than the team with the best record in the Eastern Conference this past season. They ain't beating no 76ers. Are they going to beat Pat Riley and Eric Spolstra's Miami Heat, who just added Kyle Lowry and P.J. Tucker to Jimmy Butler and company, Bam and Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson? No, they won't. They're not beating any of those four teams. I don't know that they'd beat the Bulls. Maybe they beat the Pacers or the Wizards or whoever else is there. But they're not beating one of the top four teams, and they're going to have to play one of them, meaning they ain't winning a first-round series. By the way, I don't know if they beat the Hawks. I don't know if they beat Atlanta. I thought they were going to extend that series seven games this year, and that didn't happen. I love Kemba Walker, one of my favorite players. For all the reasons and more that you just said, Stephen A., I agree with you about the culture change on the Knicks. That ain't enough to beat teams better than you. They ain't getting out of the first round. Well, well, let me let me start off by saying this, okay? First of all, it's good to see you, Stephen A., Max, and always good to see Molly. But here it is. See, see, look, Max, let me tell you something. You got to watch out for Stephen A., okay? He's slick with his stuff, okay? He's really slick with his stuff. And I caught exactly what he just did. See, he avoided the question because you know he's a New York Knicks fan, New York stand-up, and he did not want to go against his New York Knicks. So what he did was he provided us with a beautiful eulogy about Kimba Walker. <laughs> I mean, praising his character, praising everything about him. When the question was asked, are they getting out of the first round? And the mm-hmm. answer is, hell no. It's so all Max's points for as them being not being a top five seed, a top five team in the Eastern Conference. You got the Milwaukee Bucks, you got the Philadelphia 76ers, the Brooklyn Nets, the Miami Heat, the Boston Celtics. So they're going to fall in that bottom tier. Now, with that being said, look, I love the culture over there that, that World Wide West, Scott Perry, and Tom Thibodeau has established, and I think the future is bright. The future is just not right now this year, okay? And when you look at what they did last year, the New York Knicks were the, they were actually hunting. But now this year, they're going to be the hunted. I'm not saying that they're a title favorite, but teams are going to get their rest when they got to play the New York Knicks. Teams are going to strap up their shoes. Teams are going to walk into Madison Square Garden with a different type of mentality because they know that they got to come out there and give this team everything they got because we all know that one thing about Tom Thibodeau team, they're going to play extremely hard on the defensive side of things. Another thing that concerned me, another thing that concerned me in Kimball Walker's speech was when they asked him about playing back-to-backs. And he said, I don't know yet. And from what my sources tell me, now I'm not Woj and, you know, I'm not trying to be Woj in a whole other atmosphere, but I do have some relationships. And from what I, my understanding is, is that Kimball's knees are just not the same. That don't mean that he can't go out there and contribute and give buckets, but it's just not the same old Kimba. So with that being said, to answer your question, Molly, no, I don't see the Knicks getting out the first round. Hell, they might have even even have trouble making the playoffs because they might be in the position to be in the play-in tournament. Okay. Okay, I appreciate that soliloquy. Thank you very, very much pointing out my slickness. You're right, you're right, you're right. You got me there. You know what I'm saying? Because I got caught. But I wasn't slick on purpose. I just got a little bit emotional. That's all because I was thinking <laughs> yeah. about my New York. You're building but, a culture. But, 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 but let, but let me be very, win. very humana, clear. Humana, humana, humana. Let, me, let me be very, very clear to Max and Kendrick Perkins. The New York Knicks are going out of the first round. Okay? Uh, here we let me go. tell you that right going now. Out in the the first New York round. Knicks. You weren't the, so confident the, the, five y'all minutes ago. Y'all remember this. Y'all remember this. The New York York Knicks are 
critics are going out of the first row. New York, stand up. New York, stand up. That's right. Let me tell you something, Kendrick Perkins, okay? Let me tell you something, right? Like, listen, we got we had the one-armed bandits. That is Julius Randle and R.J. Barrett. Now, one-armed I have been told. Bandit. Listen, hey, here's the deal. The one-armed bandit. I have been told. I, I, I have been told. And, and by the way, I don't. I, I'm mad, mad respect and love for the ultimate insider, Adrian Wojnarowski. But I'll be damned if I don't have my sources. I have been told that those two have been kidnapped, that their left hands have been handcuffed and strapped. <laughs> they haven't been allowed to use it and will not be allowed to use it for until the month of October. They have done nothing but use their right hand over the last two or three months. That's number one. Number two, let's, con- yeah, let's, let's continue to dismiss Mitchell Robinson all we want to. He is a seven-foot-one center whose primary Robinson signature is, is about defending and shot blocking. That's something that Trey Young and the rest of the crew would need to consider when they were coming in the lane, throwing up those little floaters or having alley-oops. That's not going to be so easy next season. Let's take it to account number three. My poor brother Derek Rose had to sit up there and exhaust himself because they were getting no help, no productivity pretty much whatsoever from the point guard spot with Peyton quickly was young, even though he had good moments. He was relatively young. Now you're going to have Kemba and have Derek Rose as a true reserve, you know, especially with Kemba being able to create his own shot. We can't summarily dismiss well, that. Fournier is no scrub. We can't summarily mm. dismiss that. And defense can <laughs> win you. And so what I'm saying to you is this. You ain't going to beat Brooklyn. I got right. you there. You ain't going to beat Brooklyn. You ain't going to beat Milwaukee. I'm uh-huh. not sitting up there and, and guaranteeing anybody else. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.